Yeah. But I think it's a time of people really searching for themselves and knowing exactly what they want mm -hmm. and who they want. Mm -hmm. mm, damn, Q. Baby, you did that. What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy, Shy. Shy versus everybody podcast. Voice of Detroit. Motherfucking podcast MVP in this motherfucker, man. The champ is here. What up, what up, man? It's your boy, Shot. Shot vs. A-Body Podcast, episode 194. We got an uh, east side, right? Believe it. Hell yeah, I heard you You, you mentioned grass show a lot, so I'm like, yeah, she's from the east side. About time we for get some sure, east side sure. uh, faces up in here. We always get west side niggas and shit, man. I know. No, welcome to the east. Yeah, but we got rapper Red Diamond in the building. Hi. And, and yes, this is the same hoodie from the last episode. <laughs> 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 I don't give a damn. Like, <laughs> we rocking it out, though. We thugging and shit, man. Everything good with you? Everything is wonderful. It's great. Mm -hmm. uh, taking one day at a time. Thank you for having me. For sure, for sure, for sure. Hell yeah. Appreciate you reaching out and stuff. I always love when people reach out to me. I ain't got to be the one always reaching out. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You, it's, I'm actually trying to get myself out there more so mm -hmm. people know who Red Diamond is. For sure. Um, so... When, you, when I seen your podcast, I said, okay. Yeah. I see him out here working. I'm working too. Yeah, so yeah. It's best podcast in the city. Together. You know, best podcast mm -hmm. in the goddamn city, man. There you go. Gotta believe that shit. And it's on the east side. Mm -hmm. <laughs> For sure. You know, I say west now, but yeah, it's on the east, man. That's okay. We're That's supposed okay. To be. That's okay. Hell yeah, hell yeah. But shit, we start everything off with Salute Me While I'm Here. A lot of times we have people that pass away before we, you know what I'm saying, send off that old good long ass caption on Facebook about how we love him or her mm -hmm. instead of showing them that love while he's still here. There you but go. it can't be if you're in a relationship, if you got kids, or it can't be your parents. Mm -hmm. It got to be somebody outside of that that you want to show some love to. And it got to be alive because niggas be like, man, rest in peace to Lamont. Like, nigga, I said while he's still here, not while he's dead. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know what? Um, that's funny that you said that because. I was just doing some reflecting mm -hmm. about my music journey mm -hmm. and being Red Diamond. Mm -hmm. And I had to go back to day one. Yeah, for sure. So I really want to give a shout out to, um, he go by the name of Real Official AP mm -hmm. um, and Stunner Baby. Okay. Because really without them two, mm -hmm. I don't think I'd be really here at this moment. Mm -hmm. And also... Of course, my sis Karachi. Okay. But with them two, they actually was the ones that was like mm -mm. pushing you and shit. Yep. Yeah. Yep. They like I hear it in you. Mm. It, it's there. No, we. I'm about to bring it out of you. So, so what? So. From you uh, said fuck this whole music stuff. Say that again. Damn, I'm about to. Nigga, what the dog said. I'm sorry. <laughs> Chill like a motherfucker. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> that was a good one right there. I'm glad we got that one. Keep that shit. <laughs> Nigga like that. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> I did that like for real, for real. No, I said without, without, without them two, you would say fuck music. Without those two No, people. I wouldn't have said fuck music, but <laughs> it had been more so of... I wouldn't have went as hard. Okay, okay, and okay. The, I wouldn't have actually set myself down and really mm -hmm. took off. Because it yeah. was more so like something that I kept to myself. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. Oh, Was you kind of like afraid like to show people that you can do this? Or you was worried about people, what they was going to say? Or if you wasn't good enough? Like, talk about that. It was more so of the... If I sit somebody down like, listen mm -hmm. to this. Yeah. Would they take me serious? Yeah. Or... Would they understand the words coming out of my mouth? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? For sure. Hell yeah. Like the first people that I sat down and li listened to my my raps, they understood the words coming out of my mouth. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, it was yeah. like, okay, it's somebody Boom. out there that yeah, really yeah. understands. So vibe with me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then it's more people that vibe with me. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah, so yeah. it was more so like, go ahead and do it. Yeah, for you know? Now I was, um, I, I listened to, you know, East Side, West Side, and mm -hmm. I, I realized that East Side rappers, uh, females come off aggressive as hell, like super tough, super hard. Like, <laughs> is it hard for like people like like dudes to approach you because they hear your music? Like, damn, she sound too tough for me. Even no. hug and shit. Like, nope, <laughs> nope, not at all. Are you lovable? I'm I'm very lovable for sure. Okay, very okay. lovable, but it takes a strong man first of all. Mm -hmm. So if if I intimidate you, I apologize. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe in whatever it's, lane you trying to sure. travel in ain't for you. You got to put on that right blinker and go the other way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, but at the same time, 
I'm a lady, mm-hmm. and I I said I was gonna display that a little more. Yeah, soften up a little bit. You, I'm soft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm only soft. Yeah, we need to be. There you go. Yeah, I got you. Know, you. Yeah, yeah. I don't want the wrong person. Yeah. I'll be like, oh, she really is loving and affectionate, and yeah. and then you try to play me for sure. And yeah. I got to up the switch. <laughs> there yeah. you go. Now you mentioned your name, Red Diamond. Mm-hmm. Talk about that. How you come up with the name, and what were some trash names you had before that? So, do you say trash names? You know, you always come up with trash names before you come up with your official name. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't see. I don't think I had any trash names, but I let you. Okay, go ahead. I let you be the judge. <laughs> okay, okay. So, um, I was going through my names mm. and. I went to AP. Okay. And I was like, um, I got to come up with a rap name. Mm-hmm. And he was like, well, what you want to come up with? And I said, I think I want to be Blood Diamond. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he said. So, who? He said, no, good. So, the beehive. <laughs> yeah. Then he said, uh-uh, uh-uh. He, then he came back and hit me with the, we're going to push you red diamond. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, there we go. Yeah, I like so, that. I, now, I'm going to ask the question. Yeah. Did I have any trash name? Blood Diamond? Uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's trash, but it's just like, I wouldn't think of like you out here, the blood diamond. Okay. But it you wasn't trash saying? though. So that yeah. was the, there we go. Yeah, you know how you get little or young there or, you, you know what I'm saying? There you go. Big. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't, because it, I, it was no names that was really yeah. like coming. You mm-hmm. know, I even thought about putting freckle faces, something mm-hmm. in there. Yeah. But then I, I really don't even care for my freckles. So yeah. I don't want the rap names to be... <laughs> With freckles in it, a little freckles it, in it. I mean, it probably would have been cute, yeah, you know. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. my my our group uh, rap name was trash. Me and my cousin, well, he my homeboy. I call him my cousin. We went by Young City Boys. Ass. <laughs> I, I mean, at the time, because y'all it, was probably kids. No, we we was kind. Of, you know, I mean, twenty. Twenty? No, nah, yeah, no, nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Sorry. So we got thinking though, cause his name Red, so I'm a shot. So it's like, all right, double R. Like, no, that's trash. Rough Riders, like, you know what I'm saying? We couldn't think of nothing. So her, his sister was like, Young City Boys. I'm like, all right, bet. We Young City Boys. No. <laughs> no. See, that, not that was trash. Yeah, it was. <laughs> I was. I was a Young Shy. He was Young Reds. Young City Boys. And it was, it was spelled Y-U-N-G. Not, ain't no O. Okay, well, at least you tried to be unique. Yeah, you yeah, tried yeah. It. We you was tried the original it. City Boys in the mud, dog. We tried it. Hell no. <laughs> but, you know, talk about this year, man. Like, I know you said you wanted to be more out there as far as the music and stuff like that showing your face and stuff mm-hmm. but uh, talk about this year what plans you have for this year how it's been going so far with me personally and musically um so personal wise let's start there mm-hmm. because my music slowed up mm-hmm. because of that but you know that's where that that tough side comes sure. in at, where you gotta hold it down mm-hmm. <laughs> not <laughs> everything sure. is good okay Everybody okay? Yeah. What was you know, some of those things? If you don't mind talking about it, that was like um, getting in the way of music. I'm gonna just say family. Okay. Family is number one, mm-hmm. and you always want to make sure your family is straight. For sure. You know, regardless, it don't have to always be financial. It mm-hmm. could be mentally wise. It could be hey, just pulling up, kicking it with your cousins, your dad, your mom, brother, you know what I'm saying? Your family, period. Mm -hmm. Um, Because like you said earlier when we started Mm -hmm. about, you know, everyone don't be here that long. No, Everybody got a time, expiration date. So, uh, unfortunately, damn. It's it's like where some people will be selfish Mm -hmm. and They'll be like, no, I'm focused on this right now. I don't, I don't care about that. Yeah. I have my moments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I knew that that wasn't right. Mm-hmm. And also, at the same time, everybody's not spiritual. Mm. But I was raised spiritually. Mm. And all I said to myself was, the Lord got you. For sure. He got you and the family. Mm-hmm. So, right now, he's using you. To keep your family Intent, yeah, keep yeah. going. Yeah. So, we, we good. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah. we good. I'm going to say that. Okay. Um, But music-wise, hmm, I got to get back in that booth. Yeah. I yeah. got to I gotta get back to the, and push some music out steady. Mm. I don't want no breaks. Mm. Um, As far as content, mm. like how I'm coming out, talking to you, mm. I want to, you know, do a little more of that. I want people to see my face. Yeah. I want people to really understand me and understand why my music is the way it is. Mm-hmm. Because I have 
have my moment yeah. where I'm soft. Mm-hmm. I'm a little, I'm yeah. a lady. Yeah. I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm, sure. You know, come yeah. here, bae. Let's talk about this and that. that. You heard what I said, bae. Yeah. Not hoes, not extra men, yeah. not a lot of men. Yeah. I'm talking about that one boss man. You know what I'm For saying? Sure. Not, yeah. No hoes on that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Solid one. Yeah. One, because yeah. motorbike don't get it. Confused. Yeah, yeah, I was listening to it. <laughs> <laughs> don't get that confused. Don't, yeah. nah, no, no, I, I want. Come on. <laughs> That's for my real boss women, okay? Yeah, yeah. With your real boss man. Okay? For sure. <laughs> uh, how, how do you, um, a man, should approach you? Like, you know, what I'm saying, as far as like you saying, you, you know, you don't want no hoes out here. You want to, you want to bay and shit. I hate you saying bay. Not, <laughs> not when I say bay. You know, that's 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 the basic terminology. No, for sure. But, um, I when a man approach me, mm. you gotta be grown. Mm-hmm. You don't, what's up, sexy? Or mm. don't approach me like that. Mm-hmm. Don't don't do that. Yeah. Don't call me sexy. You don't know me. I appreciate the compliment. For sure. Not from you. <laughs> yeah, 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 for sure. From from big, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. From hubby, it's the bae, the, the real man, the boss, and that. You know, yeah. you ain't there yet. Don't, yeah. don't refer to me that. But. Respectful. I like gentlemen. I like. I love a gentleman. Mm-hmm. Open the door, car door, um, compliment you, check on you, make sure you good, make sure you straight. Mm-hmm. Um, even when you okay, he's still making sure you okay. For sure. Um, it's it's a lot. Mm-hmm. I don't I don't do little boys. Yeah. I don't, I'm grown men. Mm-hmm. <laughs> certain sure. way you gotta carry yourself. Your, okay. Yeah. And yeah. I'm make it clear. I. Don't really care for no street nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You that know? shit played out. And I, you heard what I said, street nigga. I, real man and street nigga. Mm-hmm. Two different. Yeah. Kind no, of totally people. two different things. Hell yeah. Can you grow with somebody? When I say grow with somebody, I mean somebody who's not really up there as far as financially, but he yeah. got ambitions to be. You know for what I'm saying? Sure. He working that's on the, it. That's the type of man that I'm okay. I, I, I'm okay with. You mm-hmm. know, some females be. Oh, I need a nigga with some money. Why? Wow. Yeah. I need him. He got to have this and this and this and this For sure. and that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But also at the same time, me and her, they down moments too. Mm-hmm. But if you know that, had that mentality and you got that willpower and that strength to go get it. Mm-hmm. And you know you could go get it. You just got to figure out how to go get it. Yeah, or you sure. need that extra push to go get mm-hmm. it. We we could work. Yeah, 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 yeah. We could work. You You could. I love to cook. Oh shit! What's your go-to meal? Let me know. No, uh, I'm too aggressive. I don't cook. <laughs> <laughs> you know, hey, it's a different day today. So you know what I'm saying? Oh no. So I'm you, not. you got cook. you got uh, you know what I'm saying? Young. I don't have a certain go-to meal. Mm-hmm. But you can handle um, handle business though. I, I handle business. Yeah. Listen, mm-hmm. and I this ain't me tooting my own horn because mm-hmm. this is Miss Stamp. For sure. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Okay. These these some of these women. Son, mm-hmm. I'm here. They had that cooking, that cooking. Is- <laughs> Go crazy, huh? Hello. Got them coming back. Hello. <laughs> They're cooking good. Now, you mentioned earlier about going through stuff with family and getting things back right before you got in the booth. Mm-hmm. But when things is going, you know what I'm saying, hard for you and stuff, your, your head ain't right, who can you talk to to get you back on track? That be, that's the thing. That's the thing. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you don't. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to be honest. I'm a, I mean, some people don't care about the Zodiac, but... I'm a Leo, mm. and oh, shit. I was raised by strong women mm. and strong men. Okay. So sometimes I rather not go to nobody. Mm-hmm. I rather go sit myself in a room and just talk to myself. Mm. We, we gonna figure this out. Get it together. Yep. Get it right. Now, if I have to go seek help, you know what I'm saying? Mm. I'm gonna try to find. That that real person mm-hmm. that could be honest and completely, you know, genuine. Mm-hmm. But other than that, I ain't going. Cause, For sure. some, Cause some people not real. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> but you know, cause you be needing that person you could talk to. Sometimes you hold that shit in, that shit, you know, saying drive you crazy. Mm-hmm. You be needing some. Uh, you need outlet. It's cool to be by yourself and with your own thoughts, but sometimes you also need to go ahead and have somebody. Else, you know what I'm saying? Yep. Yeah. yeah. I be calling this nigga sometimes crying like, dog, she hard. And then he called me a bitch, and I be all right, man. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Ball. Yes, I'm man yeah. up and shit, though. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, you need that sometimes. You do. It's needed. You do. Like, nigga, right you now, do. you sound soft as hell. Like, oh, you shit. You do. Then you think about it, like, damn, I do sound soft as hell. You do. All right, but I need that shit, cuz. <laughs> Good do. looking, though. And, and that's funny because I'm the type of person where I don't really like, 
I feel like that's like putting your problems or your issues onto somebody. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of why I hold it in most of the time because I'm like, no, I got their own stuff to figure out, their mm -hmm. own stuff going on. I ain't, I'm going to keep yeah. this to myself. For sure. But lately I said that. Lately I said I'm going to. You know, yeah. try not to hold everything in because I've been one of Yes, I've been ticking in it. Now, like, okay, don't don't clock out, don't do it, don't do For it. Sure. Hell yeah. Stay strong, you guys. Staying on the on the same subject. When the last time you cried, it didn't have nothing to do with death. And what was the reason? Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> See, but yeah, like, you, know, you know, auntie dies. Up, he's always, you know, you gonna cry about death and shit, but like, um. When is the last time that I cried? I think I was watching a movie. What, what, what was it? I was watching a movie. Mm -hmm. And was it on Prime? I think I was say Tubi. No. <laughs> you can cry on Tubi movie. <laughs> I hate Tubi. I oh, feel like shit. Tubi is ghetto land. I, I like mean, not hate it, yeah. but when I get on there, it's just... The same shit. I don't know where to start, mm -hmm. and I don't... I fuck with Tubi movies. I used to feel that way by it, but I fuck with it. Nah. I go in there to watch a Detroit movie. Yeah, yeah. No, that's it. That's it. That's it. It's it been some outside movies that have been pretty good, but... Mm -mm, they be like watered down to me. <laughs> then I'm always... No. Mm -mm, yeah. No. I'm going to just stick with, with Prime. And I don't really watch TV, though. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't really watch TV. But so, when I do... Mm -mm. So you said last time you cried was off a movie. Yeah. I'm trying to remember what was the movie. I think it was a scene. Yeah. You know what? They remind you of something or something? You know what? I've been watching this Tyler Perry TV series. Mm -hmm. And it's called Ruthless. Okay. And it's it's really mind-blowing. Mm -hmm. It's kind of hard to watch. Okay. But at the same time, it's like he's putting what's all going on in the world today mm -hmm. into this tv series yeah so it hit you so some of the parts it hit me mm -hmm. and tyler perry owned or something yeah, yeah, yeah with that shit you said yeah, you got me crying I'm, you got some real shit right there certain <laughs> parts of the movie it, it just like had you like mm -hmm. damn mm -hmm. like this is what women are experiencing or yeah this also is something what, like that okay yeah it's yeah. like Sex trafficking all in one, and mm. then, um, like, it's it's called ruthless, mm -hmm. and I mean, if you got the stomach to watch, in reality, mm -hmm. watch it. All right, wait, I'm gonna check it out, see what it's about. Watch it. I'll be at work watching a whole bunch of shit. So, cause it <laughs> had you like, huh? Yeah. Like what? Yeah. Even though this is some of the stuff going on now today, mm -hmm. but still for him to. Put it in this series and put it the way and format it the way he did. Mm. Damn, some yeah. of the scenes <laughs> had me like, oh no, oh no. Yeah. But some people, I ain't, I ain't gonna, even, I ain't gonna go there. <laughs> when I say I was raised spiritually mm -hmm. in the good the, with the good people, mm -hmm. you know how they say you got the ones that's yeah. doing good, the yeah. ones doing bad. For sure. I, I was with the good pastors. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that, that's, speaking of uh, being raised, talk to me about that. Talk, talk to me about your childhood and growing up and who was in the household and what street and all that good stuff. Okay. Um. So once I'm from the east side. Mm -hmm. Um. I was raised grass shit in Fairmount. So okay. So you right here. Right here. Yeah. Right here. Four eight twelve five. Um. I have a brother. Um. Raised with mom and dad, mm -hmm. once again, raised by strong women and strong men. Mm -hmm. um, I was raised the right way. Okay. Uh, and I was also raised to know how to survive. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't intentionally taught. Mm -hmm. It was just, this is what we know. Yeah. This is what, I, what you gonna know. Mm -hmm. And this is how this you... It gonna be able to be a successful woman mm -hmm. and it lights i mean you know life have its different ups and downs mm -hmm. but when i say i'm i'm grateful mm -hmm. and blessed to have the upbringing that i did because what i'm going through now mm -hmm. if i didn't have that upbringing back yeah, then i wouldn't be able to navigate through it yeah how, how how was that though seeing like mom and dad together like 
You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of times you hear a lot of stories about, you know what I'm saying, mom and dad separated, this and the third, or dad um, not around. Like, how was it seeing your mom and dad together? My mom, with them being together and being in a two-parent household, it was good, mm -hmm. you know. Um, it had its ups and downs, of mm -hmm. course. But at the same time, I seen a man and a woman come together mm -hmm. and figure it out yeah. or build a unit. And built a empire. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? All empires not perfect. Mm -hmm. All of them don't last as expected. But it was built, mm -hmm. and what came out the empire, it wasn't bad. Mm -hmm. You know, it wasn't fucked up. Yeah. So, um, I mean, we had our challenges, but overall. You know, shout out to to mom and dad. Hell yeah, y'all did that. Yeah, no, for I sure. I mean, it was moments where, you know, now I'm older, I go back and be like, "Don't what the fuck you doing?" Yeah, yeah. But <laughs> now you might be mom and daddy, but mom and daddy, hold on, yeah, <laughs> tripping. Sure. Yeah. But <laughs> you know, I'm I'm tight with my parents. We close. We mm. had a relationship. Mm. Um, they want to go through a divorce now, but yeah, but whatever. That shit, that, that, that shit hurting you. Um, it kind of did, yeah. you know, when they first went, you know, through the separation. But yeah. at the end of the day, I'm grown now. So sure. I yeah. know how it is. Yeah. And I just want both of them to be happy regardless. Mm -hmm. But, you know, honestly, you want to tell me, yeah. take your little break, go and get yeah. back together. <laughs> Hope yeah. that empire and, down. And, <laughs> that's crazy because they've been together for so long. But nowadays, like, relationships don't last work for shit. Nope. At all. Nope. Like, niggas be together for two seconds and the lowest shit I make niggas just separate. separate break man. up. But that, that speaks volume. Yeah. That mean you a quitter. <laughs> yeah, no, for sure. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Or well, was the female worth it? Yeah. Was the situation worth it? So why do you think people quit like on relationships so much? Like compared to like when grandparents took, st you know, what I'm saying, um, um, took time to really make sure the relationship worked. Like back then, could nothing break up grandma and granddad. Like no matter cheating, whatever. Like they was gonna stay together and ride that shit out. They changed up the formula. Mm -hmm. They changed up the blueprint. Mm -hmm. They changed up the way that you um, problem solve mm -hmm. and. Um, they alternated loyalty yeah. and respect yeah, and understanding sure. and communication. Yeah. So without without that, I mean, it's a free world. Hell yeah, yeah. Everybody do Niggas, Damn, she got fat ass. I'm gonna leave my. <laughs> it's always, it's <laughs> I'm gonna leave my girl yeah. right now. I'm <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> yeah, like niggas, niggas do not. <laughs> she ain't at home cooking, cleaning, yeah. doing yeah. nothing. Uh, but I think like, sometimes you gotta make sure you on your stuff, man. Because once again, from being you know saying around older people, my uncles and brothers and stuff. You got to make sure that you constantly doing things so nobody else can't take your spot. You feel Bingo. me? Compliment you your go. girl. You know what I'm saying? Still take her on dates and shit. Because sometimes I'm, I feel victim to that. Sometimes you just get, you know what I'm saying, relaxed. But also, see, and that's the one thing I love about me. Mm -hmm. Because I'm not biased. Mm -hmm. It's not just men. It's women too. No, for like, Hell yeah. They go for women. You know what I'm saying? If you know that you went after this certain kind of man, this mm -hmm. certain kind of man, these certain kind of needs, and mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? You got to do what you supposed to do as a woman so yeah. your man ain't going out there yeah, for sure. seeking off. But also at the same time, no, you committed to. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. Because, you know what I'm saying? We, like, I've been talking to my homegirl lately, and we've just been talking about how people, you know how they call it the whole phase? Mm -hmm. Everybody need one? I really wouldn't want to <laughs> call it a whole phase, yeah. but... I think it's a time of people really searching for themselves and knowing exactly what they want and mm -hmm. who they want. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think it's more so of that. I don't really think it's the whole face. I think it's called the whole face because you mess yeah, with multiple, yeah, multiple, sure. multiple people. Yeah, yeah. But you know. <laughs> like, you know, I gotta like these. I gotta spread my wings. <laughs> well, yeah, but it do take both. You know, what I'm saying both. You know what I'm saying? Men and women to make sure the relationship, you know what I'm saying? You can't be saying, oh, I'll give him hair every day. Then it's once every three months. There you go. <laughs> but what <laughs> happened what? for it to go to once every three months? Yeah. Exactly. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, something yeah, yeah. didn't sure. happen. Something, something changed up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What you not doing no more yeah. for the beginning of the head? <laughs> What is it? What you do? What you like, stop doing yeah. something? Like she had to come in the yeah. house and. Or is it me that I stopped doing something? Yeah. Something had to I happen. Just think, I just think most cases of people. I think men and women they just get too relaxed. That's all. They get I, too relaxed. 
And I don't think nothing's gonna change or you know what I'm saying, and nothing gonna give, you know what I'm saying? I I know she ain't going nowhere. Whatever. I can sit here on the couch and scratch my balls and watch TV. That's so <laughs> true. That's so true. But that relax came with comfortability. Mm-hmm. So I feel like you're supposed to be relaxing your relationship. You're supposed to be comfortable, but never let that flame die down. Mm-hmm. Never lose that spark. Yeah. It's like like how people really or some couples do date nights mm-hmm. every weekend like it's mandatory mm-hmm. i really believe in it like, yeah. i really believe in you should have a moment or time where this is mandatory for us and yeah. both agree on it mm-hmm. because and don't men don't just do it because you're trying to make the girl happy because yeah. eventually you won't let me take her off take her off so i go ahead and get some <laughs> take her red off so i get some head <laughs> Let me go ahead and take her out. You mad about it? Come on, man. Damn. Not, <laughs> not that you just treat her to get hit. Let <laughs> me go ahead and take <laughs> motherfucking Brenda out. Dog. At this point, you sound like a boyfriend. <laughs> Yo, yo, man, it's called, you man, I'm taking Brenda out. You know, trying to get some hair. Sound like a booty call. Sound like a booty call. <laughs> hey, 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 I'm just talking shit, y'all. That ain't no that. real relationship right there. <laughs> just doing shit. Just like, I'm just doing this just to get this. No, but for sure. And then we got to be going out. Just make that time. Watch a movie. Just chill. You know what I'm saying? If you got kids, hey, send their ass down somewhere or something. There and just kick it and shit, man. Kick it for real. You got kids? I do not. Mm. But I do have God children. Mm. But I do not have Do you kids eventually want to have kids? Or are you of course. want to be that cool auntie? No. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. My okay. mommy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I got my own kids. For sure. Yeah, I yeah. could have had some. Yeah. The time I went right. Yeah, no, for sure. For sure. <laughs> yeah. The time is everything. For real. I had my I had my young dog early, early. But I think that helped me in the long run, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And so one thing is, I, once again, I'm real. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I was kind of not young but i was about to graduate high school Mm -hmm. and um me or that person wasn't he already had a kid but at the time he needed to still Mm -hmm. you know what would be more grab us into a man more for sure so he wasn't ready to have another kid and Mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying i was I, I'm spiritual. I have to ask the Lord, Lord, forgive me for my sins. Yeah, but for sure. At the same time, I had to be real about this. Yeah. You know, but you know, to each his own. Yeah. Everybody don't feel the same way, but hey. For sure. For I'm sure. real with mine. Yeah, yeah. We can give y'all some little love advice. <laughs> Fellas, don't just take a real life from some head, dog. <laughs> no, <laughs> Fellas, please don't take her to yeah. real. It depends on who you taking a real lobster stuff. Yeah, yeah. so Niggas be climbing real lobster. I like real lobster. That should be good. No, no, man. no, no, no. Don't get me wrong. Red lobster is good. Them biscuits and shit, nigga. Listen, I'm so spoiled. And this is where me coming in as a lady, yeah. okay? <laughs> Growing up, I always ask my father to crap my Craig legs open. Yeah, yeah, He would get so heated. Yeah, but like, he'll do it, though. He'll do it, though. Period. Because yeah. he'll be like, I'm trying to eat, too. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, now his shit got cold. He, his hands bleeding because he ain't got the right cracker. <laughs> Listen, okay? But... See, yeah. I told you I'm a lady. That's how I be. That's how I be. I, I, I see right now with my little girl. Like it's, it's, it's messed up for me. It's terrible. Listen, for, how old is she? She's just three. Oh, daddy's girl. Yeah, it's gonna be. It's bad. Is she like, a daddy's girl? Yeah, hell yeah. See, like, I got, I got two older boys, but like with her, it's like, oh, I'm soft as hell. Yeah, listen, what? Man, that's not my dad. Listen, I. That's the funny part. I didn't call. Never call my dad, dad, mm. father, daddy. I call my dad, honey. Okay. And I got that from my mother. Mm-hmm. And she said one day I heard her. Calling him honey. And you just stuck with it. And I just been honey. So yeah. we big honey, little honey. Yeah, but when yeah, yeah. he pissed me off, I'm calling him by that government. His mama gave him. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, man. Yeah, y'all. My daddy a Virgo. I'm a Leo. So. Yeah, yeah, man. Shout out to, to daddy daughters out here, man. If you ain't okay. a good daddy, man, go do something. But <laughs> I really think that's important that the dads are um, tied in with the girls. Mm-hmm. And the moms are tied in with the sons. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. Like, that made... Listen. Oh, yeah. Now, talk about the uh the music. You know what I'm saying? I like to get into the music, you know, after I get into your life and shit, you know, mm-hmm. a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But when did rap become something that you wanted to, you know what I'm saying, take seriously? Um, and it wasn't just a hobby no more? So, again, AP. Mm-hmm. I'm sitting there minding my business. He in the booth doing him. Mm-hmm. And... He turned around and looked at me. Mm. I said, uh-oh. Yeah. <laughs> he don't want me he to do giving something. me yeah. this look like he looking back, smiling like he owning something. Mm. And he's like, take a shot. 
Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh, yeah, he, he on to something. Yeah. And he actually had me get on one of his songs and do, like, an intro. Mm-hmm. Talking you know, shit. Yep. And when I was in the booth and I heard my voice come back, mm-hmm. it was like. Yeah, shit sound dope. Hold on. Yeah. That's you? Yeah. Oh, you? Wait a minute. And then I did it again for him on another song. And I'm like, okay, I'm comfortable with being in this booth. Mm-hmm. I know I can rap because I, I love what I do by myself in private. Mm-hmm. Then I put some words to them. Mm-hmm. They like it. And actually, AP recorded my first song that I did. Mm-hmm. And when I was recording it, him and his cousin was just... yeah. Vibing to me, mm-hmm. and I'm like, okay, yeah, you feeling good? Yeah, like I'm yeah. like, hold on, y'all like this? Yeah. I'm like, okay, so I kept going and going and going, and then more people just kept giving me good feedback, and mm-hmm. it was like, okay, this this what we doing? Mm-hmm. That we here, yeah. and I'm comfortable with it. And don't get me don't get me wrong, I don't I don't got no ghostwriter. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for I, sure. I sit and <laughs> I write my own. Yeah. You know, if I need some ideas or something, mm-hmm. I go to some people that's really having the same love and affection for music too. I mm-hmm. ain't going to somebody just like give me a bar. Yeah. No. Uh-uh. As a rapper, do you think it's ever okay to get some 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 uh, like a whole song written out for them, some bars? Like you know what I'm saying? I know you said some help is okay. Some but, people do. Yeah. Some as ain't that what ghostwriters are? Okay, you can see yourself a rapper if you got somebody writing your stuff, or you just like. Goddamn, like you, just, like, cause I can't think of you as a real MC. Like, all right, you, you, you do music good. You deliver it. You deliver it good, but I, I can't take you seriously because you're not really out there, like, just thinking of this shit. You got somebody else just, you know, saying doing it for you. Um, back in the day, that went to fly. Mm-hmm. But these times now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, shit's that shit's okay. Yeah, they yeah. got apps. That is generational <laughs> yeah. rap. Nigga, talk about the struggle. Yeah, you know I'm saying I had somebody come to me and show me it, mm-hmm. and I looked at them and really was like, I don't know, show me that. Mm-hmm. No, because it's like disrespectful. Because yeah. I really sit in a room, sit in a car. I go to Bel Air, sit by the water, mm-hmm. find me a beat. I I I start raps without beats. Mm-hmm. But when I find me a beat and try to put it, and if it don't go together, yeah. I'm taking that rap and going to rewrite over it. Mm-hmm. But I sit and I sit with a book, and yeah. I I write. For sure. I mean, For I sure. punched a song before too. Yeah. Where I that's didn't, a new thing now. Listen, I didn't think I could, mm-hmm. but I punched me a song before. Yeah. And it was good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know. Damn, I miss the studio. I'm gonna come out. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming back. Yo, shy. <laughs> Why you in G? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit dude. Now uh You been uh What's the name You been dropping singles And stuff like that mm-hmm. But when you gonna drop A whole project Like what's the What's the plan I, I said I wanted to do it This year mm-hmm. I said I wanted to do it This year But I said I wanted to finish up My singles mm-hmm. And Then go ahead And do me some mixtapes mm-hmm. And then do an album yeah. But I'm not I'm not gonna half step myself mm-hmm. So now that I could Really be back into red diamond mm-hmm. now it's time to yeah. get that out there because yeah. it was supposed to been out yeah yeah man we, we gonna put pressure on you because there's a lot of motherfuckers that come on the show we be talking like damn them niggas ain't ain't drop nothing go, no go ahead <laughs> we go ain't go dropped ahead. nothing we go. and it's, it's funny you said that because i actually got some stuff i'm working on right now mm-hmm. i just need to go to the studio and finish yeah. it you know what i'm saying what's your honest, honest opinion about female rappers in the, in the city Mm. Like, do you feel like it, like y'all getting the love? Do you feel like it's some trash out there, some good out there? Like, you, I'm, you want to know something? Mm-hmm. I was told that there is a such thing as where female listeners mm-hmm. might not be able to grasp certain female rappers. Mm-hmm. Like, if you're not coming on your Twerking music yeah, or sure. something. Yeah, yeah. You can't really get you no real female rap. Yeah. But there are females out there that can relate. Mm-hmm. So I feel like it's it's a lot of female rappers in the city that talk about different different stuff. Mm-hmm. Everybody don't talk about you yeah. know Pussy. the same. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Sexual sure. explicit yeah, rap, but yeah. you know I don't know. Like me. Uh, I'm versatile, mm-hmm. so I could 
if I'm in that mode or I feel like I gotta be in that mode, I could give you this. Yeah. Or if sure. me and <laughs> Big Daddy didn't had a good night last night, so yeah. I might wake up want to talk about that. Yeah, because on I, that one song, you was, you went kind of crazy when you said you going deep. I start to scream and then you we like eyes. You know what I'm saying? Hello. <laughs> when I felt the beat, it, it gave me like a, you need to take it easy. Mm -hmm. You need to you need to ride this one out. Yeah. So that's how. Also, I write my music. If I hear a beat, however it get come through my body, mm -hmm. that's when I'm. That's how yeah. I'm writing. Yeah, you talking real sexual in that song. There you go. <laughs> like, we like eyes with somebody. Had me thinking about a, being a, a being a whole lady. Yeah. Like, damn, okay, she do know how to be a sexual. She want to lock eyes, soul yeah. search, let me <laughs> take the biggest to you. And that's funny because uh, we was uh, I had a funny conversation with an uh, individual I won't name, but. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> when you meet that right one, you start doing unusual <laughs> shit. Like he was doing he was doing chest for chest and shit, though. Uh, mm. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you know when it's like not like a like yeah, nigga, I'm gonna make love to this dude or you know what I'm saying, or to this woman, like and it ain't gonna be a quick little smash and, and all right, I'll see you later. You you, you say know. that for your man, man, you, like you yeah, that's what thank there you go. Mm -hmm. That nah don't listen. Nah. When my songs that I drop is for Babe, daddy, hubby, yeah, oh, for sure, not, for sure. not for no side, yeah. no side piece, no quickie, no one night stand. Nah, for the women out there, mm -hmm. if that's how you feel about your one night stand, girl, sing your heart out <laughs> to him. For sure. You hear me? <laughs> but that's made for that hubby and wife, yeah. or the two people that got some soul ties. Mm -hmm. That's not. Good. That's not for no one night yeah, stand. For sure, for sure. Well, you take them socks off, you know you love them. Like, oh, my nah, socks I'm off, saying, I love you. <laughs> nah, I'm saying that's for that man. If you want to rub his feet, cook his sure. dinner, y'all gonna talk, y'all get money together, kids, all that, you know? Good. That ain't for. That yeah, ain't, that, that, ain't. that that two that two a.m. Just I'm calling you at the hit Coney and but smash. No, that ain't for him. <laughs> you know, that ain't. You gotta go holler at sexy red and all that for that. <laughs> How yeah. have you become a better artist from when you first started to now? Like, what's different about you? Um, I would say, as far as in my deliverance, mm -hmm. um, and when I write, mm -hmm. so once again, <clears throat> excuse me, once mm -hmm. again, I'm trying to, I don't want to make music too, too aggressive to where... I never have a female audience yeah, or fan base. Mm -hmm. Um <laughs> this one this one dude told me mm. I'm like a female Dex Osama. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you super hard. When <laughs> he said that, rest in peace, Dex. Yeah, was you upset? Like damn nigga. I was not upset. Okay, okay, okay. But I told myself, Oh, you gonna have to like no. to make <laughs> tweak some shit. You might have drop some more. Not sexual music, but some more yeah. feminine music because I don't want to be the female dick. <laughs> yeah, I want motherfuckers to know Diamond stand on her business. Yeah. She about it. Yeah. Don't play with her. Yeah. But say Miss Dessa Osama in this motherfucker. Her, <laughs> she need therapy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why is you walking around violent, hostile all the time? No, I don't want that. Yeah. I don't. I'm not violent and hostile all the time. Mm -hmm. I'm not. I'm not like that. Yeah, you calm, you cool. But yeah, I get, I get like that. I would say, yeah, look, you probably one of the ones, you know, sweetheart. But you, you know, what I'm saying, quick to, you know, say if you yeah, fuck I with am, you. Yeah, I am because I don't bother nobody, mm -hmm. and I move a certain way because I was raised a certain way. I was taught a certain way. So whenever my aura change, I'm an energy person too. Mm -hmm. So like, whenever I feel a negative energy or something. That inner beast in me wakes up mm -hmm. to protect me yeah. or protect those around me, and I'm sorry if I'm not a <laughs> female, or maybe I'm not sorry yeah. if I'm a female. I done been told before, like, can you just be quiet and just let me like? But, but yeah. the thing is, I can't sit here and just let you talk to me, and for I know sure. you trying to bullshit yeah. me. Yeah. You want me to sit here and listen to you for twenty minutes bullshit me? Yeah. Yeah. No, I gotta interfere in this. For sure. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be aggressive or you know, but 
Yeah. I'm not the average female. I'm sorry. For sure, for sure. It's okay sometimes. Sometimes, sometimes you gotta lighten up though. <laughs> I, and that's the thing. I'm trying to. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to work on it, but I'm listen. That come from me being so independent. For sure, for sure. Because I really feel like if it's not, I'm like I'm not married, mm-hmm. and I'm talking. I'm, I'm talking to somebody, mm-hmm. but at the same time, they come from. If a person not ready to solidify something or, you know what I'm saying, stamp mm. something, I'm not going to force them. Sure. But also at the same time, I don't got no man taking my trash out every day. Every, yeah. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. So, what, how am I going to be a lady 24-7? Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. Of course, I don't want to break my nail. Of course, <laughs> I don't want to take the trash out. Of course, I don't want to pump my gas. Yeah. Of course, I don't want to open the door. Exactly. But. Yeah. If 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 ain't nobody to do it and a man to do it, do so it. who gonna do it? Yeah, exactly. Me, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's sure. gonna get done. Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> now, prior to the show, I asked you if you wanted to rap. A lot, mm-hmm. of, my, a lot of people say uh, no, please. <laughs> But you said you would give us up. I mean, I wrote a little bit, a yeah. little something real quick. Okay, okay. So you know, a few bars we about to get from Red a Diamond. A few bars. You know what I'm saying? This motherfucker shy style Tuesday. Got Red Diamond in here. What's going on? Should I give y'all some bars? A few bars. Ah. Mm. So say good night to the bad guy. Yeah. Come on. The last time you're gonna see a bad guy like this again. Pretty little mama with a lot of two. These females couldn't put a dot on my letter too. She talking real reckless. I'm a longer too. She say she need a lesson, girl. I'm a take to school. Rule number one: Don't trust everybody. Keep a hit or real close, just like John Gotti. Rule number two: Don't ever play the fool. That's why you get in one on one, so you know the rules. Rule number three: Stack that pay first. Everything fall in order when you make it work. Rule number four, move in silence mode. Keep them lights in the back doors real closed. Rule number five, monitor your pride. And if you ever say you feel, girl, they fucking lie. Get your money. Shit. What's some young nigga shit versus some shit you been through? What's some that you believed in as a young red diamond that you don't believe in now as an older version of yourself? Um. I used to believe that. And this is funny. I used to believe that I'm not gonna say family I never cross you, mm-hmm. but I'm gonna say always protect you mm-hmm. and you pay attention. Pay attention mm. to to certain things in life, mm. and if you gotta question it, either question it, figure it out, or question it and keep moving. For sure, hell yeah, that's some good advice. <laughs> <laughs> figure that shit out for real. Niggas be there. You go. <laughs> don't keep it moving. Hell keep yeah. Keep it moving, hell but yeah. don't don't sit on it. Mm-hmm. That's one thing I see. I see either question it, figure it out. Question it, keep moving, but don't question it and sit on it. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't. Mm-mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if you gonna sit on, it, you gotta do some little movement. You gotta come up with some <laughs> actually. <laughs> <laughs> no, they, 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 y'all know today Friday. <laughs> we gonna we gonna call it Freaky Friday today. You thought it was slow, she, he, You know he thought I was a slow one. <laughs> <laughs> now back in the day. You know, saying this dude ain't really been a, a dude to talk about right now, uh, Diddy, but he's have a show called Making a Band, mm-hmm. and you know about that I show? remember Making a Band. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. So if you had your own Making a Band album, you and four other people, it could be producers, singers, rappers, whoever, who would it be you and four other people to make this band album? Mm, I'm not gonna lie, I Zay Hamilton, mm-hmm. the producer. Mm-hmm. I love his beats. Mm-hmm. I've been a little mad at him lately, but I ain't gonna get into all of that. Oh, it's about you know. But <laughs> okay. no, we don't know each other really personally. Mm-hmm. But Zay's about to take off. Mm-hmm. He out here with Skiller, mm-hmm. and he <laughs> mm-hmm. hey, hold on, Zay, don't forget about <laughs> the, the 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 rappers come trying to come up. Sure. Okay, yeah. but um, 
I would hmm me they uh, three more you say it could be anybody right mm -hmm. anybody in the whole wide world Cardi B okay I love Cardi B I ain't gonna lie um ESTG And last but not least, LMA. Okay, okay, hey, okay. That's dope. That's dope. That's dope. I rock with it. I rock with it. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Cardi B, my, I like her. I fuck with her. I love Cardi. What's your Cardi. definition of a success? Like, what success look like for you? Um, ups and downs, mm -hmm. failures. Because there's no such thing as being successful without a failure. Mm -hmm. Um. Mm, that's really it. Mm. Like I feel like you gotta, if you haven't been through hard times, mm. you, you ain't really successful. Yeah, not for sure. Cause either that means something was given to you, mm -hmm. handed to you, mm -hmm. or I ain't gonna even say that. I ain't gonna say that. <laughs> the last one was gonna crazy. I, I ain't gonna say that. They go through it though. But I'm, I'm. Don't get me wrong. People who are fortunate to have stuff handed to them. Mm -hmm. For sure. But if they ever lost it and it was never there to get handed back, mm -hmm. what would you do? Yeah, for sure. What would you do differently with your start with music? What would you change up? What would you, you know what I'm saying? Mm, I would have never stopped. Mm -hmm. But I, I stopped only because once again, that being a lady, mm -hmm. having a man, and at the, at the beginning, at the end, I always gotta make sure mm -hmm. the inside, the household, the 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 man is good. Mm -hmm. I'm good. Mm -hmm. So my partner at the time, he like you know he was he he was rocking with my music, mm -hmm. but he wasn't rocking with everything that came with it. Yeah. So it's I can't be half in and half out. I either gotta be all in or all out. Mm. And I was half in, half out at a, a moment, and I didn't like it. Yeah. So I'm back all in. For sure, hell yeah. And I ain't going out. Hell yeah, cause if we do, we gonna be talking shit. I know y'all are. You gotta, this you, she ain't putting nothing on. She ain't yeah. really seen her with red man, go. She, for sure, hell yeah. she ain't even make a hit yet. <laughs> <laughs> for sure, for sure, hell yeah, hell yeah, man. Now, I, I hate that we had to end it so early. You know what I'm saying? It's okay, because we got of, some stuff in. A little time in violation. It's okay. <laughs> but the next I'll one, be back. Yeah, no, for sure. That's all I'm about to say. We definitely got to run it back. Uh, if you got a studio, we can go to. That'd be dope. I always wanted to do a podcast inside, like a little recording studio. We oh, yeah, sit back, sure. talk shit. We, we, we can travel. You okay. know what I'm saying? For a small fee. Say, no, I'm talking shit. Look, <laughs> I'm talking shit. I'm talking shit. He no. getting fees. I'm going to have to send my fee with it. <laughs> no, for sure. For sure. No, we definitely you know travel to you, and we'll do a part two once you drop an EP or whatever. Okay. We'll make it happen. You, you want to leave people with some kind words, some motivation? Um, I want to tell everybody out there in the city of Detroit, stay on y'all grind. Stay mm -hmm. on y'all grind. Stay focused. Fuck the negativity. Um, let's We've been coming together. I'm not going to lie. The city been coming together. But let's come together together mm -hmm. and stay together. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, sure. Let's let's not only come together because it's a concert that somebody's <laughs> throwing, yeah. Yeah. or the draft about to come. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? And we together, we Detroit. You know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> somebody say let's throw a big Detroit picnic or something, Belle Isle or something, mm. or let's throw a big block party somewhere, Trump Park, West Side, somewhere, mm. something. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? But um, and love on these kids. Mm -hmm. um, these kids out here nowadays, the young ones. Mm. Jesus. Yeah, no, for sure. Can y'all please love them, protect them, um, guide them the right way. Mm -hmm. Guide them the right way. Because they growing up. Quick. Very. <laughs> Fast and hurry. And faster than, than, um, than Forrest Gump yeah, for was sure. running. Yeah, yeah. No, they are. They are. They are. <laughs> but um, shout out to everybody in the city, though, that's doing music. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's number one. And everybody that's trying to put people on in the city, shout out to y'all. For sure, for sure. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Where can't find you on socials? Well, I'm going to say this. 
it's not the basic red, okay? I'm gonna need y'all to put R3D Diamond mm -hmm. on all platforms, and that's how you find me. So on Instagram, it's R3D Diamond, two underscores at the end. Um, on Facebook, it's Red Diamond mm -hmm. with the three, not the E. <laughs> and on to find all my music on all platforms, I'm out there on all platforms, and that's Red Diamond, R3D Diamond. For sure, for sure. Like I said, I appreciate you coming on. You know what I'm saying? Had a good little time. Got some bars, got some stories you know what and shit. Saying? You know what I'm saying? Lady in here talking about I'm aggressive. <laughs> I'm going to come back in some heels or something sometimes to dress something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nothing but a lady. <laughs> I'm sure. a lady. I know. I, I, I think about that Martin episode. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, man, it's your boy Shivers. Hey, body podcast. Uh, best podcast in the city. If you think different, then you fucking crazy or on drills or all the above. Sheesh. Shit. You know what I'm saying? Hey, remember that Tyler Perry? Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Don't talk about drugs because that oh, okay. stuff got my mind like damn. I'm about to watch that shit. <laughs> but episode 194, Red Diamond in the building. Thanks for having me. Same hoodie from last week, but we still thugging. He watched it. We out. Oh yeah, for sure, clean. <laughs> <laughs>